fucking hell. I've just been fucking booted out. I've just been booted out. I've just been booted out. I've literally just got home and been booted out. I've got two months. Let's get out of it. <coughs> we gotta move again, buddy. We gotta move again, me and you. Because no one fucking wants us again. Again. Because of me. Again. Because of who I fucking am. Because I'm fucking annoying. Basically, it's not her. She's alright. She's sound. She's in an awkward position. She's not losing her house. She's not losing her home. It was literally like 10 minutes ago. It's like, you know, give me a boot up the ass, or get me moving. I needed to move anyway. <sighs> Fucking. This, right, this is why I get really baffled when you're looking at me and you're going, but everyone loves you. They don't, all right? They fucking don't. And it's as usual, someone decides not to like me and I'm only, the only one that fucking loses out. Like when people were fucking physiotherapy, I was the only one that was gonna lose my job or lose my fucking degree. They didn't fucking like me. They decided not to like me. They've got all the fucking power because they don't fucking like me and they get to make fucking changes in my fucking life that I haven't fucking put there. That's why I'm fucked up. It's the same old fucking shit. You're not fucking welcome here. You're fucking annoying. Just go and do it somewhere else. There's not anywhere else. There's no other else. It's fucking bullshit. It's fucking bullshit. Everyone loves you, Mikey. No, they don't. And they're the ones that get all the fucking things done. They're the ones that get everything done. Just because of their bullshit fucking opinion and they can't handle being near me. Um, you know, I, I, I do need to realise that I am hard work. This is bullshit, man. This is fucking bullshit. I can't keep fucking doing this with you fucking lot. Your thoughts create your reality. Yeah, I've been thinking this, haven't I? This is what exactly what I've been thinking. I've been thanking the universe for getting booted out, and oh look, it's happened. But apparently that's how you make everything happen. It's not, because I was trying for fucking years, and nothing fucking happened, okay? Nothing. All that happens is this fucking shit. No matter how much I try and fucking put a brave face on everything, this is the fucking shit that keeps fucking happening. It's less than a year since I've just been fucking booted out. The fucking landlady at the place before that booted me out. He's got a history of the last three landladies not being able to tolerate me being anywhere near them. But it's not her fault, this one. It's not her. She was sound, she's alright. Look, go on. <laughs> Tell me it's all alright. You just gotta keep going. It's fine. My fucking legs still not fucking sorted out. My teeth still not fucking sorted out. I've got to change all my fucking dentist and fucking doctor and fucking dress and fucking everything again. <laughs> and it's just gonna take months and months and months to fucking again. This whole fucking this, the whole fucking thing is just <sighs> fucking infuriating. I don't want to fucking do this anymore. I don't want to fucking do this anymore. I'm fucking... I don't want to fucking do this anymore. I've fucking had enough. I've just fucking had enough. I've just fucking had enough of this fucking shit. People being all diplomatic. I'm sorry. It, you know, I'm in an awkward position. Exactly the same as the people at the fucking beach. Fucking everywhere I go, people fucking moan. Fucking moan about me. Fucking tell me to fuck off. 
You've got to realise how terrible I'm making their fucking life. Poor them. Fuck. Oh, God. I was ready to kill someone today. I was fucking ready to kill him. Made some fucking... Like a fucking... Face and fucking mud somehow under his fucking breath as I cycled past with my tunes on. So I turned around and go, sorry mate, what the fuck did you just say? He shat himself. Fucking wanker. Well, literally, the amount he shat himself. This, this always happens to me when I start on people. I ended up chasing a geezer around a car park fucking laughing. He said, please don't hit me, please don't hit me. He said, trying to act like a right gangster, so I went for him. And he fucking literally went, please don't hit me, please don't hit me. Sorry. <laughs> Similar thing happened today with this cunt. You just think, well, fucking hell, what is it? Why haven't you learnt that openly looking at someone and shaking your face, yeah, yeah, it's fucking disrespectful, and it's going to mean and make them stop and say, what the fuck was that you just said? I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. <sighs> the good thing is, my support worker works for a housing association. That's what their main thing is. But she's like, she's the mental health one. <laughs> And so it was, that's why she's not been able to give me that much input, because I haven't been looking for somewhere to live, and I'm not, I wasn't homeless. But now, I can say I'm going to be homeless, because I will be. But now I should get more priority, I should get more help, because I'm going to fucking need it. My head is not in the best of fucking places, my shit is in fucking three or four different places, I don't know where anything fucking is that I fucking own, if I want to keep it, where I'm going to fucking put it. I've massively run out of money. Because every fucking month it's been like just, just right, I'll have that done next week. That literally every fucking month I've been gonna start doing this, start doing that. I haven't just been sitting around not fucking bothering. It's every time I've tried to fucking do it, fucking shit like this comes along. It's like fuck off. Just fuck off. Really, I'm not fucking coping with this bullshit. Chase your dreams. I've been trying to. I've been following my fucking dreams. And there's just been fucking disaster after fucking disaster after fucking disaster. And a world that tells you, never give up on your dreams. I haven't. They've given up on me because now I can't fucking do them anymore. What am I supposed to do? Don't worry about it. Is it all going to be all right? Does it not matter, really? Fuck you. Give me a fucking gun. Give me a fucking gun. This is bullshit. I fucking hate it. I hate being alive. I fucking hate it. I fucking hate it. I try my fucking best not to fucking hate it. Every fucking day. I just fucking hate existing. I fucking hate it. This is why I can't fucking celebrate me. This is why I just get really weirded out when you tell me how fucking cool I am. Oh, awesome, everyone loves you. You're so cool, you're so funny, you're so dumb. Fucking not. Right? Seriously, I'm here all the time. I know. This happens all the fucking time. And it's never anyone's fault. And it's always just a clash of personalities. It's not. It's just a clash of personalities. <laughs> It's the fact that there's millions of potential clashes of personalities and I'm always the one in the wrong. They're always the one that gets listened to. They're always the one that gets the action taken. They're always the one that's the victim. So 
So I hope they enjoyed their fucking peace and quiet. So that's that. I'm, done, I'm, just, I'm dead in the head now. I don't know what to do. I, know what, I want to go to bed, but I won't sleep. Otherwise, this is just going to be fucking... So. Anyway. That's that, I suppose. <laughs> Bye.